ロスプロミルスナインスパイラル Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the B144 Zvi Longinus booster. So, really excited to take a look at this. We are finally Seeing a GT version of Longinus, we have our original Lost Longinus, Nightmare Longinus, Bloody Longinus, and now Zvi Longinus. Now, the Zvi in the name apparently means two, which I guess kind of makes sense with the theme of this base since there's two dragons for each part, except for the driver, obviously. But、uh, yeah, there's six dragons actually on this in total. So, this is an attack type, and I'd like to disappoint you a bit just because. Louis is not the one who owns this bay. The new owner is Loden Hajima. He's、uh, basically like imagine Louis, except fused with that、uh, Hajin guy who owns Archer Hercules. That's、uh, basically this blader. Kind of looks cool. I kind of like him in GT. But、uh, yeah, doesn't really affect the performance of the bay. I just wanted to mention that as a new owner. So on the back right here, I'm going to go over all the parts and everything. So, we of course got our Gatinko chip, which is Longinus. We then have to have our new Lair Weight, which is Metsu. Now, Metsu works like this. It's kind of supposed to be, I guess, like some sort of imbalance because it's on the top and on the bottom. So, the weight distribution is going to be a little bit off balance there, which is going to make it interesting, I guess. We then have to have our third left base now, which is Vi. Zvi is now is compatible with Bahamut and Fafnir, so you can have your own custom Fafnir that's an attack type, or Bahamut that's an attack type. We've got our new disc, which is Drake.、Uh, Drake apparently means dragon, which is good to know.、Uh, Drake is basically just has like two, I guess, the plastic dragons there. No, it has the blades around it, and then after it has a little mini metal dragons on there. The whole idea again with the thing is just sort of like this imbalance thing. Uh, Drake is very much in the shape of 12, but I guess if 12 got a little bit more support to it. We actually have a new、uh, Prime driver, if you want me to say Dash driver, which is Spiral Dash. Now, this was actually originally on、uh, Lost Longinus, so it's good to see that we're getting an actual Prime version of it. I would have preferred a new one, but uh, it's, uh, it's whatever. It's whatever. So let's take a look inside the box. But first thing I want to show off is the Bay Logger insert. For this, so if you want to see what it looks like, there you go. I know many people don't really care too much about that insert, just to figure the dimensions. So, just to show you the inside. This is a. I think they're using a different、uh, material for、uh, the combos and whatever, because、uh, it's like actual. It's not as glossy as the old one we got. But this is the one I got for Joker. This is like a different.、Uh, it's a different material we're using for the combos to sprint it out. I don't really. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted to point that out. So, we've got our recommended combos. We have got Zvi Bahamut. Drake, Rise, Oletsu for a stamina combo?、Uh, okay. We've got, let's see, Zvi, Fafnir, Sting, Keep, Zetsen. Okay. Weird.、Uh, we've got, okay, here's a Longinus combo. We've got Wizard, Longinus, Hurricane Trick with Zan. I think all these combos suck. I don't think any of them look like it could be good. Who knows? Maybe we'll try a separate video on it. Actually, you want to know what? Yeah, comment in the comment section below what combos you want to see with this Vilair base or the Longinus chip. Remember, left base for the Gatinko chip and the Lair base are only compatible with left, so you can't have Judgment Longinus or anything like that.、Uh, yeah, well, what a surprise. They teased the release for next month, which we already know what it is. It, it, not even next month, really. It's a, it's a lot less than a month, but it's、uh, Diabolus. It's、uh, a race in Venom. That's a left and right bay. And it seems we're doing a campaign with Sting. Okay, we're gonna get a gold version of Sting, which is starting in July. Okay, so let's show you quickly what's inside. Very nice, very neat, and everything. So I'm gonna have fun assembling the stickers on. Yeah, something else I just wanted to mention real quick. 
I'm a little bit upset because my uh, Drake disc, I only got uh, two stars, which, uh now the thing is, uh, I'm gonna explain this again. I usually go over the star thing uh, before I actually go for the part by parts on the bay while I'm actually opening the bay. The thing is with uh, the stars on the disc, the stars on the disc are meant if you get multiple of the same disc for whatever the reason is, you can just uh, put a little sticker where the star is. Now, four stars is almost always the best. Having uh, less than four, not really that good. So a little bit disappointed, I didn't get uh, the four stars on my Drake disc. So we're gonna be going over everything part by part. So the first thing I wanna see, I'm gonna get, actually get out my slash Valkyrie, because a lot of people have said apparently it's supposed to have the same teeth like Valkyrie, just it's left. So we've of course got our Gatinko chip. So obviously the dragons on the Gatinko chip are not metal, they're just uh, gold metallic paint. However, it does not undermine how amazing this actually does look so I really do like the design too with the whole electricity thing. You know, it's very reminiscent of all the longest evolutions. So these are what the teeth are, which we kind of got to get this uh, focus in the shot. But uh, yeah, people were not joking, I guess. Looking at it, it's legit. It's just the left version of Valkyrie with the teeth. All right, so it has the same teeth as Slash Valkyrie. Uh, Slash Valkyrie had some decent-ish uh, teeth, so it's not really that bad. I wasn't too sure because a lot of people pointed out how uh, the left bays that have been releasing, like for an example, Dread Bahamut has the teeth like Ashura, Fafnir like the teeth like Dragon. It's interesting to know that. So something I did not realize, this could completely be unintentional or not, but the layer weight, which is uh, Metsu, spells out a Z. And Z for Zvi, and look, there's two on each. Zvi means two. I just thought that was really cool how it makes the Z and everything. I don't know if that was intentional or not or what. I can't believe I never realized that detail. So we've got our layer base, which this is actually probably going to be pretty heavy, considering the fact that it actually does have metal here. And because it has metal there, it really does make it one of the most aggressive attack layer bases we've seen for GT. And it's really only a left bay exclusive. So I think actually this layer base uh, Zvi could, probably, could pretty much be like a good counter to like Hell Salamander combos. Uh, we've got our disc, which is Drake. Now the thing is with Drake, other than the fact that it looks really cool, it's got those metal dragons there and everything. I love the design for this. Now, the metal parts here, th I guess this is maybe only where you can really get the contact point to where it could matter. Because the other side's where it's just like uh, plastic and whatever, right? It doesn't, I even if these parts hit, it's probably just going to get really, like, worn after a while with all the damage you're probably going to get with those bays in the battle, so... Drake looks like an alright disc, it's just like another option for, like, an attack disc, and it's very imbalanced. So the whole idea with this, by the way, before we get to our last, uh, part of the bay, which is the performance tip, the whole thing with this stock is supposed to be so unbalanced in the battles, so you either get a ring out right away, or you get a burst right away. So we've got Spiral Prime, or if you want me to say Spiral Dash, whatever, so this pretty much, if you don't know what a primer or a dash driver is, instead of just having the normal spring that is inside a driver, they had a gold spring, so it makes it a little bit tougher to burst. So the thing is with Spiral, uh, it's very, very aggressive, but it really is horrible for stamina. Uh, it's an attack type performance tip, so of course not going to be that good with stamina. But you know, some performance tips have a good like life after death thing, right? They can spin a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> If, if you're gonna have the stock on this and you're gonna go into a battle, you, you gotta make sure you launch it right. I would recommend with this bait, you go with the slide shoot, which is where it does a little flower pattern thing, where it does like the, instead of just going in a full circle. So what we're gonna actually be doing now, is I'm actually gonna be getting set up to actually show you the weight for everything. So if people wanted to see the weight for any of this stuff, I'm gonna show it to you now. So here, we have our scale ready. Let me just get this set up. So we of course got Longinus, our Gatinko chip. Three grams, okay. We have got our layer weight, which is Metsu. Eight grams, okay. We've got our layer base, which is Zvi. Almost 16 grams, almost, but it's, uh, I don't know where I'd round that. I'd just say 15.9 grams. Nah, I'll just say 15.85. I don't want to round 10 meters 10. Uh, we've got Drake. Drake is almost, is very close to 26 grams, and then after we've got, this should be like, maybe like 6, what is it gonna be? Yeah, about 6 grams Spiral Dash, so assembling this whole bay. Uh, overall, I gotta say, I love the design for this new Longinus. I think it's really cool how it's basically like a combination 
between all the previous evolutions, taking elements like from Lost Ice. No, I'm, I'm gonna say that for the comparison. I'm, I'll say that for the comparison. I'm getting way too excited in this video for this evolution. So let's assemble it first. So very tight. But it is with a prime driver. So something I want to say real quick before I actually weigh this out. Uh, there's another Slash Valkyrie that I do have, which I don't mind actually trying this out for maybe some video. Because this is like a purple power driver, I think actually power, if even if you had almost the same stock with Zvi Longinus, would really work together. Because power has the thing with this little spring clamp thing, so that could really work for uh, Zvi Longinus. And actually, you all know what? I would have, I wouldn't mind if they gave actually a uh, power dash or power prime actually. That would work way more. But uh, yeah, teeth are decent. Teeth are not bad at all. They're very, they're exactly like Valkyrie. But it's super tight, super super tight. Ooh, fifty nine grams. People have told me sixty, but I'm, I don't know how this. Is. It's not sixty. It's like fifty nine. Let me try to put like this maybe. It's like 59 grams. I think, uh, yeah, comparing it to some other ones, like uh, Joker and whatever, right? Joker, for an example, that is like 60. Slash, it's 55. So this is, uh, this is a very heavy one. But something I want to show you real quick, something I think is super important and really awesome with GT, is the awesome customization options you have with these bays. So obviously it can vary from bay to bay on what you're actually trying out. However, in the case of this, with Wizard Fafnir and Dread Bahamut, do we now have different options to try out to actually mix and match? So I'll actually try it out against some left bays in this video. But for example, if I wanted to get the Bahamut Gatinko chip, or if I wanted to get the Fafnir Gatinko chip, I could put that on the new Longinus. So now we have a new attack uh, layer base for the left bays. We're, only, we're getting a race which is Diab which is part of Diab Diablos. Diabolos. So look, so now with Fafnir, if I wanted to put uh, list layer weights on, I can make Zvi Fafnir. And then after, if you want to see it with Bahamut, I really do hope that uh, we do get uh, some random booster with uh, the left layer bases, because I actually want to see different colors to experiment with. But this is uh, Zvi Bahamut. I also liked how all the left bays they're releasing are basically like dragons. Really cool. Really cool. I wanted to show this detail out so in case people are wondering. Also, by the way, so I don't forget, if you want to see uh, Longinus with the Dread Lair base, there you go. I actually have the Gen Weights uh, still on there, which I might actually test out the Gen Weights a little bit later with Zvi Longinus. I hope it's not as broken as Dread Bahamut, but, uh, you know, who knows? You want to see the Longinus on the Wizard Lair base. You're going to basically have a Longinus now that can spin steel. Which just actually kind of matches with Wizard with the, the Gold Dragons or whatever. But now, I want to quickly compare it to the previous Longinus evolution. So going over uh, the whole evolution thing, I really do like how with each Longinus... So, like, for example, Lost, we had the Blades and we had the two Metal Dragons. For then after Nightmare, the Blades were pushed outwards with the Metal Dragons a lot more... I guess... Aggressive? With how they were more pushed to the sides. We then after got more blades on Bloody Longinus with multiple dragons on there. And I think Zvi honestly is the best Longinus out of this whole bunch. Like legit. And it really does feel more of a direct evolution from Lost to Zvi than it is Lost to Nightmare. Like I really love how it looks. For the performance tips, uh, it's just always been an aggressive... Uh, yeah, it's always in an aggressive shape. It's been uh, like, it's kept the same shade as Spiral ever since it's been evolving. The same idea with it. Uh, if I were to rank it in terms of preference, it's probably gonna be, just in terms of design, I would go with... I would go with Zvi Longinus, Bloody Longinus, Lost Longinus, and then after maybe Last Nightmare. I think Nightmare looks cool, but I don't know. I think it was a cool idea to have with Nightmare, but it's like, eh. You know what I mean? So what we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna be doing some test battles. I'll test it out against uh, the Longinus evolutions, and then after I will do a couple battles against the GT base. So we're gonna get started. Let's get the test launch done. So, woo! It is a lot heavier. So compared to like Lost, it's not gonna be as aggressive. Uh, let me just try to do a slide too, like I recommended and I said in the video to try out. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit tough. It's so heavy, I think it kind of balances itself out. So hold on, let me try to do like a... Yeah, that's what I mean by like a slide shoot, but... 
I guess it does depend on the match. So overall, it's a little bit aggressive, but uh, nice shot there. We're gonna try it out against some bays. So the first one that I need to try out, I have to try this out against, is my ultimate Dread Bahamut combo. Yes. Yeah, that's what it needs to do, with those hits right there. Uh, if it can't really do, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna try it out against uh, Judgment Joker next, cause that is a uh, previous release. And it's gonna be a good test to see which one's stronger. Yeah. I guess, I guess it really just can't budge this Bahamut combo. Alright. So next up, we're going to try Joker. Shout out to Judgment Joker for still being one of the toughest ones. Ooh, it actually did push it quite a bit. Relax there. It actually used its gimmick and pushed it quite a bit, but at a cost. I think this actually might be the Judgment Joker killer. When I, when I say this bay might be X killer of something, it means like a bay that's like a doesn't really have to be like a good counter, but can definitely defeat like the previous bay established. The only thing that's gonna annoy me is that spiral thing, because uh, you know there was already a campaign that was with the new destroy uh, dash thing, and destroy dash is still pretty hard to get, but there's probably some other good attack uh, combos you can make. I can hear that rubber? Ooh. Okay. We gotta try one more time. I'm gonna see if I can do it at full power and see what happens against Judgment. Okay. So let's just do like two more rounds. Cause Judgment Joker is like one of those bays where you just gotta do multiple rounds of it just to get an idea. Cause it's really hard to test with it because of its gimmick. It just smacked it out. And that's really interesting, because that's now the second time it's done it. I, I think this can actually counter Judgment Joker. Let's see. Oh my god! That's what I'm talking about! Alright, I'm, I'm definitely going to do a full separate video, probably Judgment versus Vi. That is actually really good, because Judgment Joker is such an annoying bay to deal with. I think because of the heavy weight in the metal, it's Vi Longinus. I think that actually does counter uh, the rubber that uh, we have on Joker. So I'm gonna try out another bait. Let's try out actually this Chosy Achilles, which I actually did do a review on. It's just the same as Chosy Achilles from before, same teeth and everything. I just wanna see. How does it compare? Oh, okay. That was really tough. Ooh! And I actually did activate the wings on that, and Zvi barely buds! So I actually think Zvi is going to be really good to try out against uh, Chosy Awakening Bays. Let's do a second round. Alright! That's what I'm talking about! Alright, I'll try it against one more Chosy Awakening Bay, which actually this one does have a Prime Driver. It's Reboot Dash on the Chosy Valkyrie, so... You know what I mean? Whatever happens, happens. Woo! That is... It killed it! With the full stoppers out! Oh my god! This is a monster! This is actually a really good bait! It did budge a little bit, but that is very powerful! So that actually does... That means my theory with power is probably gonna work with the Zvyloganus! Because power with the clamp and it Okay, okay. Alright, let's do it quickly against the other evolutions like Lost. I will do a full video later with uh, actually, I'm, I'm, this next video I'm actually gonna record. I'm doing the whole Longinus Generations thing against all of the previous Longinus bays. So stay tuned for that whenever I actually get around to it. Yeah, yeah, there's Lost. Alright, let's try it. Uh, where's Nightmare? Where's Nightmare? I'm, I, I know what it sounds like, right? It sounds like I'm way too excited, and you're absolutely right. We're gonna get to our next evolution. Knocked it off. Jeez. Uh, we're gonna actually try the last one, which will be bloody for this video. Shout out to Tiger Tommy for all those names we've been making for these bays. So, let's try...
Good. It actually did show that in this match. So the big complaint with uh, Bloody, right, is that it, it really just gets off balance. Like, it'll be super fast at the start, but that one hit gets it really off balance. Zvi, it seems because of how the weights work on it and everything, that off balance thing is no issue at all. So parts I'm going to recommend, I would say if you're able to get it, destroy dash, I would even say power. Uh, there's even actually, we have now a, a prime version of every longinus driver. There's jolt dash if you want to try that out. Uh, I would just say like, just go for, if you're just going for pure attack thing, the stock on its own is not too bad, but I would recommend some stuff like a uh, quick dash. Quick dash is definitely, and if you want to send me your combos, please uh, send ahead. I want to try to record a video with combos after I get a few of the people ask for. And just to end it on a really high note, before I give my rating for this bay, we're going to try it against Slash. I love it. I actually enjoy this evolution. This is a good evolution. Not even, it's actually a really solid GT bay. The heavy metal with the attack and everything, with the unbalanced nature of this bay, makes it pretty powerful. The only thing you gotta look out for is if there's a defense combination that can knock this bay out and push it out. Cause that's, I actually, I don't know. There might be some defensive combos that can uh, stop it, but I think, uh, for an example, like Perfect Phoenix combos, I think it can definitely burst them. Very solid. Also, I recommend you actually do get this because of the, me uh, the, the Metsu layer weight. It's gonna be really good for future attack combinations for GT Bays. Overall, this is like a 9. 9.5? I would say the only real false to this bay. I'm also still wondering on that Drake disc and whatever. You know what? I'm gonna put it to like an 8.5. I'll bump it up to a 9 after I see the matches. The big issue with this base stamina. So if you don't get the right hits in, with ju I'm just talking about the stock combination right now. It's uh, it's not gonna look good for you. The only real th counter to that would be well, then you say it has heavy weight. That heavy weight with that very powerful attack could could make it a threat to be reckoned with, but. I'm, I'm very happy with this release. This was a good release. I hope uh, next month's release, which is Dia, Diabolos, Di, Dia, Diabolos, is going to be good, hopefully. But for right now, that's it. Tell me what battles you want to see first. Now, I'm going to leave it up to you. Uh, I was thinking of maybe doing it against the Evolutions, but uh, you, just comment whatever battles you want to see. I love this release. Really solid. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day. <laughs>